Hey guys, this is uh, Mark, uh, Hello JDM or ATS Mark on the forums. Um, this is my first video, so bear with me. I've never made a video uh, reviewing a product before, uh, but I wanted to talk a little bit about the Acuity Instruments short shifters uh, for the 2012-2015 uh, Civic, uh, the 9th Gen Civic. Um, I've owned a 9th Gen Civic. I have a 2014 sedan. Um, I've owned this car for almost two years, and since buying this car, I've been on a quest to try to improve the shifter feel. Um, I wasn't real impressed with um, cable K-series transmissions in their feel. Um, my last uh, my last Civic being um, a 2000, uh, 2000 Civic hatchback uh, with a, um, a B18C5 in it with a JDM uh, ITR transmission. So um, that's kind of where I came from. That's what I was used to. Um, and I love the feel of that transmission. Um, this was way different. Um, I thought that the transmission, uh, or excuse me, the shifter feel uh, felt extremely sloppy. There was a lot of movement in gear. This is fourth gear right now. You can see there's no movement. Uh, there was there was movement in neutral to where you could feel that um, there was a dead zone. So every gear and neutral had a dead zone in it. And I always thought that was really funny. And I attributed that to like the, the design of the cable transmission. I thought that was the, the maybe uh, the cable uh, having play um, but as I started doing modifications to the um, the shifter feel uh, through different parts, um, I noticed that that dead zone kind of uh, uh, diminishing um, in its uh, in its size. Um, I first started out uh, with uh, the hybrid racing shift bushings, and then uh, I did M Tech shift springs, and then now, um, uh, well, before that I had a Buddy Club short shifter. Um, and that was okay, but I had issues with that and actually uh, removed it. And then I went to a CT Engineering shifter adapter, and that was fine too, because um, that used the stock shifter assembly. Um, both of those reduced the throw fine. They did what they were advertised. Um, the Buddy Club had some play in it, though, um, similar to the stock shifter, and, and actually worse in some ways. Um, I actually liked going back to the stock shifter assembly because it was better constructed, I think being OEM that's not a big surprise uh, it's not a knock on buddy club uh, or the, that shifter assembly I I, I I had I think an anomaly uh, as far as the issue with that and um, you know everybody has been pretty happy with theirs on the forum so um, that's fine um, the m -Tech shift springs if you're unfamiliar those basically work with the uh, the centering of the stick so I'm gonna put the car in neutral um, the left and right motion um, is harder so it can center the stick more. So um, the reason why that's nice is that that actually takes away some of that dead zone, um, and that did that reduced the, uh, the the stock dead zone feel a lot. Um, this shifter took it um, the rest of the way. Uh, I don't know if you can see the spring down in here. There's a purple spring. Uh, Acuity uh, purple is kind of one of their colors, which I like. Um, I think it's a thicker gauge spring than um, than the factory. Excuse me, the factory unit and the Buddy Club unit. Um, so that actually takes um, the feel uh, a step further. That um, the M Tech springs really do a nice job at centering. Um, but if you have an assembly that takes the slop out as well, um, as you can see, there's no slop in this. Um, you really have a combination for a great shifting package. And um, sorry, I just get around the corner here. Hard to talk and drive at the same time. Um, the the M Tech shift springs did a great job with that. Uh, the hybrid racing uh, shift bushings did a good job uh, reducing the slop at the cable uh, on the transmission side. Um, but their, by their design, uh, there was a little slop in the bearing. Um, I switched to the Acuity Instruments uh, cable bushings. I like those a lot better because by their design, they actually sa um, sandwich the bushing as you install them in the cable. And that way, um, as they wear over time, you're not going to get any slop. Now, the, the hybrid racing bushing, um, I had those on for about a year. And when I took them off, I noticed there was um, not, not tons, but a little bit of slop. Uh, there was absolutely a measurable amount of slop in, um, because of the, the, those bushings. So I basically have, um, and I also have an EM1 clutch master cylinder upgrade as well. Uh, with the stainless steel line. So I basically have done everything you could possibly do to the 9th gen uh, to improve its shift feel. Um, the Acuity instruments 
uh, shifter being the most significant uh, noticeable change uh, to that. Um, largely in part due to its, its range of adjustability. Um, you can adjust gait, which is the side to side or basically how close first and sixth gear are together. You can adjust throw, which is how close first and second are, to get, are together. You can adjust the lever length, uh, height, and you can adjust the rotation. And you can see I've got it rotated slightly uh, to my liking. Um, I've got the length probably about a half, one and a half inches higher than uh, the stock shifter uh, length. And then um, gate is about uh, maybe about a 15 to 20 percent reduction in, in gate um, over stock. And then the throw is about 60 percent um, reduction from uh, stock. And I sat in my garage for about a half an hour um, with the uh, the console off, playing with these uh, these settings to kind of get a feel before I started driving. Um, I'm happy I did. Um, you absolutely can go take drives and, and, and do trial and error, but um, I actually found this to be quite um, uh, to my liking uh, as far as the settings goes. And I'll probably play with them a little bit more, but um, this shifter just really makes shifting effortless. Um, Every gear feels absolutely uh, perfect, and they feel uniform. Um, some gears, uh, because of the slop uh, before, some would feel good sometimes, and some would feel not good sometimes. And there was no rhyme or reason to it that I could tell. Um, and that really bugged me for a long time. Um, but now I really, um, you know, it just, it just works. Um, and it works really nice. Uh, the feel uh, of shifting forward and back, um, the, the force is a little bit increased, um, which I like. Uh, again, I think it goes more to that positive feel. It doesn't, it doesn't feel sloppy. It doesn't feel like you're throwing the shifter around. Um, it doesn't feel like there's any play. Everything feels tight and precise. And um, that doesn't mean that it takes any kind of force or that there's any kind of resistance either. Um, I'm not sure if some people will like this or maybe not like this. Um, I, I happen to love it. I, I love the feel. Um, of it being a little um, firmer. Um, I know exactly where neutral is. I know exactly where every gear is. Um, reverse is not hard to get into. I'm at a stop right here, so I'll show you. That's reverse. Um, every gear goes in absolutely effortless. There's first again. Um, sometimes I would get a grind or a crunch. Uh, even uh, for, at a stop, going from neutral to first, I would get a grind uh, or a crunch. But um, I haven't gotten that yet. And as you can see, uh, shifting is extremely natural in feel uh, to me. Um, for somebody that's not used to the K-Series uh, cable transmission, um, so again, I can't I can't recommend this uh, shifter enough. Uh, check out www.acuityinstruments.com. Um, Russ at Acuity has been a great help. I've been I've been in talks with him for months um, over the uh, final developments of this shifter, and um, he's put his heart and soul into this thing. There's a lot of R and D into it. And um, I think you'll find that it's an extremely well-engineered, well-built shifter um, that'll last you a long time. Um, it is the most expensive one on the market, however. Um, so um, that's not a negative to me. Um, I, I'm somebody that likes to, I'll, I'll spend money for a quality part, but uh, um, I believe they have it on their site for 430. Um, it might be 450, but it's somewhere around that range. Um, I think it's absolutely worth it. If you're looking for, um, a dramatic change in the way your car feels um, to shift uh, you, you're gonna find it with the acute instruments uh, shifter and uh, the range of adjustability is really nice on it as well um, some people you know may not find that adjustability beneficial um, but I like it um, I, I because I'm a little I'm a, okay I'm a, I love shift knobs I'll just say it um, I've got a bunch of shift knobs, different JDM shift knobs, um, and some are, are long in length, some are round, um, and it was, um, it'd be nice to adjust the lever length, uh, so the shifter, or excuse me, the shift knob, um, is kind of in the same position. So if I go from the Mugen knob that I have on now, uh, to a spoon Duracon or a spoon aluminum, um, knob, I can lower the length of the lever slightly and um, that shifter will be in the same position uh, or excuse me the, uh, the shift knob will be in the same position the same height um, for me and it'll feel feel more comfortable um, I 
really went through all kinds of different combinations um, trying to get this car to feel um, the way I wanted it to feel shift wise. Um, I even went uh, so far as um, I put a shift uh, circuit here, a shift extender, because I, I like having the shift lever high, but I don't like having a long throw feel. And um, the, sh the Circuit Hero Shifter Extender, um, it, it really, <coughs> excuse me, really didn't do that job uh, very well at all. It um, increased the sloppiness feel in the, the stock shifter. Um, it, it really magnified, it, it magnified everything. It magnif it, first of all, it lengthened the, it lengthened the throw, um, so it really negated the, um, the CT Engineering uh, shift adapter and the Buddy Club short shifter. Um, their, their shortened throws were, were kind of negated um, by the shift extender because as I raised the shift knob, obviously that creates a longer arm to get it into gear. Um, so I didn't like that. And then it, it just exemplified the sloppiness. So uh, even when I'd have the car in neutral, I could just, it, just, it was like turning butter. I mean, with the extender on, there was probably um, two or three inches uh, total of slop from uh, either side. So, you know, um, and an inch and a half from uh, either side of center, basically, or all around center. Um, think of it, like, of it that way. A lot of slop. Uh, so I didn't like that. So that didn't last very long. Um, this has really been the, um, the saving grace. So um, I'll stop talking and I'll uh, do a little bit more shifting so you can kind of see and hear, hear the car um, and hear how quick how quick shifting is um, without really much effort. Really, uh, um, that's probably the biggest benefit that, uh, as far as um, functionality while driving. As it's just that I don't have to concentrate on shifting anymore or I don't have to concentrate as hard because every shift into every gear um, goes in right where it needs to be going. So uh, with, without uh, saying too much more, I'll do a few more shifts and then uh, we'll call it a day. Um, subscribe to my YouTube channel. Um, I'll probably make another video about the, uh, the Acuity shift springs. Uh, they're making sh uh, shift springs similar to um, the M-Tech springs. Um, and they also have, uh, as I said before, uh, shift bushings um, that are similar to the hybrid racing uh, shift bushings. Um, I really haven't used both. I haven't used the, um, the M-Tech um, shift springs yet. Um, I, I suspect they'll be pretty similar to the M-Tech. Um, there's not a whole lot of variance you can do there except for making it, uh, um, obviously making the spring harder. So there, there might be a little bit of difference in that feel. Um, uh, I, I have the shift springs and I've seen the quality. The quality looks great. The, uh, the shift um, bushings, I like, as I said before, I like them a lot better than the, the hybrid racing just because of their design. So um, I highly recommend all these products for the ninth gen. Uh, there's not a whole lot of products for the 9th gen. It's kind of a, uh, a funny car because uh, not a lot of 8th gen parts be because of the engines being different uh, fit. Not a lot of suspension parts fit. There's there's some here and there that fit from the 8th gen, but um, not a whole lot. So um, getting an, a good aftermarket for this car has been kind of hard. Um, and Acuity has, has really found the niche and uh, made some very, very nice functional parts for, uh, for the 9th gen Civic. So uh, definitely check them out. Um, Buying all those three together, the, the the shift bushings, the shifter, and the springs, um, that's gonna app, it's gonna be mind blowing to you what a change in your shifting feel um, that's gonna be. So I highly recommend that. Go to www.acuityinstruments.com um, to order right from their site, or send them an email. Russ will be happy to answer any of your questions. They, their uh, customer service is excellent. And uh, check them out on Instagram as well. Follow them at, at Acuity Instruments. All right, thanks for watching, guys.